Hello and a very warm welcome to all those students of the grade 7. Uh, I hope you all are doing great, staying home and enjoying good health. Please wash your hands with soap as much as possible and stay safe in this coronavirus lockdown situation. So this presentation is about the geography of the Muslim world, the chapter number one. You have brought as your homework task and we will discuss about the text written in it and what does it mean and how you are supposed to answer the questions after reading this lesson. So let's get started. As you can see in this video, uh, it's uh, basically Asia region. Uh, more the greener the area are, the more Muslims are living there. The color will be changed in the different regions, which means less uh, Muslims are living there, but these are the Muslim states as well. You have seen in the video the geography of the Muslim world uh, uh, it differs from area to area and mainly we will dis discuss about the Muslim world where the 50% of the population is of the Muslim. Paragraph number one, as you can see, this is the chapter. Um, uh, you can see here there are the graphs and uh, the picture of a mosque and the people uh, mainly uh, they have shown it into the Muslim country. You can sh see here the Muslim world. Islam is the second largest religion and the fastest growing one in the world. The graph below shows the estimated number of the followers of the four main religions in the world. As you can see here, here is a graph. The percentage of the main religion in the total world population, 33% of the Christian uh, that are following the religion of the Christianity. Uh, and uh, the second one is the 26 percent but these are different types of the religion Muslims are basically fastest growing religion that people are accepting and embracing Islam uh, as compared to the other religions Hindus are 14 percent and Buddhists are only six percent uh, in this chapter in this book we will take the Muslim world to the mean of the countries whose government have declared that these are the Islamic states so we will discuss the geography only of those Muslim countries which government has declared them the Islamic state for example Iran Saudi Arabia etc and all those countries where the majority of the population is Muslim the Muslim world stretches about 15,000 kilometer east to west and 16,000 6, kilometer north to south. Inside the vast region, there are bound to many differences. But the whole area is bound together by the faith in Islam. The Prophet peace be upon him and the Quran, basically. So as you can see, the regions, the societies, the geography of all these Muslim world may vary with each other, but they are together only because of the faith in Islam and the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu and the Quran. So let's see the physical features of the Muslim countries. As you can see uh, in this map, here is the map. You can see here, in this map, Officially, there are 55 countries whose Muslim population is more than 50% to the 100% of the population. So their 100% population is there, 50% of the population is Muslim. Or you can say that otherwise, in other countries, you will found 1% to the 36% of the population, which is Muslims. As you can see, all the green areas are the Muslim country. The darker areas where the more uh, uh, Muslims are living there and the lighter area like India, Muslims are there but there, there is a less quantity. Indonesia, there's Pakistan, Iran, Afghanistan, Turkmenistan, Iraq, Qatar, Saudi Arabia, Egypt, Sudan, Uganda, Libya, Nigeria, Algeria, Mali, as you can see a lot many. The main uh, mountains are the Atlas Range in North Africa and the highlands of the Ethiopia, Yemen and the southern end of the Saudi Arabia and Eastern Turkey and much of the Iraq. The highest region of all 
are the Afghanistan and the Hindu Kush and Khara Khara mountain of the Pakistan. However, few people live in these mountainous regions. Although a majority of the Muslim countries uh, are located in the level land, level lands are basically the flat lands, uh, but there is a population uh, near uh, uh, eastern Turkey and much of the Iran and uh, uh, a little bit of the Saudi Arabia and North Africa and highlands of the Ethiopia and Yemen where they are living on, into the high altitude, into the mountains. And highest among them is the Afghanistan, Hindu Kush and Karakaram mountains of the Pakistan where a few of the Muslims are living. In the other map, see in this map, Muslim world except the Malaysia, Indonesia and some part of the Africa are very little natural vegetation means they grow a very little crops and they have got a very little plants in their geography. More than half of the whole area is hot deserts, temperate deserts and semi deserts and scrubs. As you can see in this image, it's a picture of a desert which has got extreme temperature and sand all over there but zero vegetation. This is a picture of a semi-desert, has got a sand and high temperature but has got a little vegetation in them. Here is a picture of a scrub. These are the desert as well but have got a high vegetation comparatively with other deserts. As you can see here in this map, this area of the Muslim world is coniferous forest. Coniferous forests are basically which have corn trees. They, they do not shed their uh, leaves in any temperature in any season. See with this green area are the mixed forest. Mixed forest basically have got different temperature, they have got different seasons and they have got different trees and vegetation, different plants. Then comes these areas with the green deciduous forest. Deciduous forests are basically, they shed their leaves very easily in seasons. Then comes the tropical rainforest. Tropical rainforests are basically, they do not have dry season they all the time are wet due to the raining then comes the temperature grassland basically these grasslands have got different temperatures there are semi deserts where the population are located and there are the scrubs scrubs are basically deserts with the gro growth of the small plants and small branches it's an image of tundra. Basically, it is located above the mountains and has a very short season of growing plants. As you can see here, in tundra, basically, trees have a very short growing season and this area is covered with ice. Then comes the marsh and swamp. Marsh are basically the wetlands and swamps are basically the areas near to the beaches. There comes the ice caves. Ice caves are basically uh, the, where they have the large ice. So as you can see in this map, different natural vegetations of the Muslim worlds are described. In these desert areas, apart from a few oases, what are the oases? Basically, oases are the areas in the desert which has got water and plants and vegetation in it. Little or nothing grows except very tough plants which can survive in such harsh conditions. These can provide food only for the hardiest sheep and goats, usually kept by nomadic and semi-nomadic people. Nomadic and semi-nomadic people are those people who roam around uh, the different places and do, they do not have one permanent home. They wander with their folks and herds in search of pasture. Basically, they uh, roam around and they ask, uh, they uh, basically 
uh, uh, search of the pasture, uh, basically they search for the grass. Grass. There are, however, considerable areas of the tropical rainforest. Tropical rainforests are basically the rain uh, forest where, uh, which have got uh, wet season all the time. These are basically lie under the Central Africa and South Africa, Southeast Asia, which produces huge amount of timber and tropical forest products such as rubber and tropical foods. In other countries, good farm crops are produced in the valleys of the Great Rivers, the Nile, the Tigris, Euphrates, and Indus, and in other places by the irrigation. Irrigation is basically a system of the water supply to the crops. So they take uh, the water from the Nile, Tigris, Euphrates, and the Indus, uh, and uh, give uh, the water and supply the water to the crops from this. I hope this video has helped you to understand the geography of the Muslim world and to answer the questions given in the homework task.